I received this honor with no irony at all. It's very exciting. I don't even have to be dead. Usually you have to be dead to get these kind of honors. So I don't even have to go to my own funeral and hear the nice things people say about me. So I'm excited. I've been to the Locarno twice before. I was on the jury once and I was there to present a film another time. So it's really nice to be back. Well, I liked it because they show movies that not everyone's going to like. I love feel bad American, I mean, feel, I love feel bad European movies and they seem to specialize in that. So I feel good in real life. I don't expect movies to make me feel good. I hate that when people say, I just want to feel good when I go to the movies. I want to feel bad when I come out of a movie and that's why I'm excited to see more extreme films. Shocking to who, you know, it depends. The people that come see my movies, they come expecting that in a way. I, I think they're more than just shocking. I think it's easy to just be shocking, but it's harder to make people laugh at their ability to still be surprised by something, and that's what I'm trying to do. Well, 8,000 people at midnight in America, that would be called a riot. And, uh, <laughs> and here, it's like the best drive-in movie in the whole world without cars. So um, I'm excited to see it. Uh, 8,000 people is more than saw that movie in this whole country when it first came out. <laughs> Well, the Kitty Flamingo thing was done for an art show. That was an art piece. That was not exactly, I don't think of that in my filmography. Um, I've been paid to, by Hollywood to write three sequels to Hairspray and another children's movie called Fruitcake, and they don't get made. So I'm still participating in Hollywood. It's a fair deal. They don't make it, but they pay you. What other job do you get paid not to work? It's like unemployment insurance. Weirdly, I think my films are politically correct. I know that's hard to imagine and people will gag when they hear me say that. But my characters take what society doesn't like and they exaggerate it and they win. Isn't that politically correct? They mind their own business, they don't judge other people. So weirdly, I make fun of things I love, not things I hate. And I think that's what saves the day while I've been able to last this long. I've been doing this for 50 years. I think they could all be remade. I want them to be musicals, ice shows, children's movies, quiz shows. I want them to, I want a porno version of each one of them. Pubic hairspray. I want them to play forever. Thank and you very cut. Much.